All right, all right. First and foremost, I want to say, call Halal Yahabubah Hashem Abashiach Yahushai. What I just said is all praises to the Father in the name of the Son. Today we are here for y'all blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. On this cold September night, man. We are here to light the block up and let y'all know that y'all God's chosen people, man. Bring it on! Give me Deuteronomy 14, verse 2. You give me Jeremiah 31 from the top, man. Come on, because I'm out here to let y'all blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans know that y'all God's chosen people in these last days, man. It's time for our people to get up out of their last sleep, man. It's time for our people to wake up in these last days, man. Come on, bring that out. Right? Give me that fire. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2. Bring it out. For they are a holy people right. unto the Lord right. thy Yahweh. See, the Most High God said we is uh, a holy people. So that means that we separate, we set apart. We different than everybody else, man. Go ahead, I. And the Lord thy, the Lord has chosen thee to be a peculiar people. See, we a peculiar people, man. Y'all black people don't understand what peculiar is, man. Y'all got to really understand what peculiar mean, man. So I'm about to get that definition real quick, man. I'm going to just get straight to it, man. If anybody come, they going to come. If nobody going to come, I'm going to stay in these precepts, man. I'm going to get in this word, man. Wow. Let y'all hear the truth according to the Bible because y'all blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, y'all the Israelites, man. That's right. Come on. So I'm looking up peculiar people, man. Peculiar. Peculiar. Come on, slack you. Yeah. So this is the definition of peculiar. Strange or odd, unusual, man. So we are different than everybody else, man. It say that we are peculiar, man. We strange to all these other nations, man. We odd to all these other nations, man. That's why they killing us all. That's why they trying to shoot us down and gun us down. Cause we not like them, man. We peculiar, we different, man. The Most High God have chosen us off over all nations, man. How do that feel, man, as a people, man? How people don't realize that God had chosen us? That's why we get gunned down in these streets. That's why the cops kill us, man. Keep on going on that, act. Peculiar people, right? Unto himself. Unto who? Unto himself. See, the Most High God chose us to be uh, different than everybody else, man. Peculiar unto himself. Go ahead. Above all the nations. Above what? Above all the nations. So the Bible said that the Israelites, y'all black, Hispanic, and Native American people, y'all above all nations, man. The Bible don't say that y'all equal. The Bible don't say that every man was created equal in the eyes of God, man. The Bible said that the Israelites was above all nations, above all people. How you doing, brother? You got a second? All right, man, you, I wanted you to know that you're an Israelite according to the Bible. You ever heard of that before? Yeah. Hey, man. He might be, but he, 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 that sound like Benjamin right there, man. Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. You got to repent and start keeping God's commandments in these last days, man. Because our people is destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. You heard of the Israelites. And that's our nationality. I'm telling them that's our nationality. We're not black, man. But they don't care. Go ahead. I... All nations that are upon the face of the earth. You give me Ezekiel 3 verse 7. Go ahead. I... Uh, Jeremiah 31. Jeremiah 31, man. Because I'm out here letting our people know we God's chosen people, man. It's Ezekiel 3 verse 7. Go ahead. It's the book of Jeremiah chapter 31. Verse 1, at the same time. Matter of fact, give me Jeremiah tw uh, the, the, the 30 and 24. Matter of fact, let me see. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. It's the book of Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 24. The fierce anger of the Lord shall not return until he have done it and until he have performed the intents of his heart. So the Most High God, he his fierce anger have have came upon the nations, man. Came upon us as a nation of people, man. And he and they, it, 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 it got us destroyed out here, man. His his fiery fury and his flames, man. They they striking the nations, man. 
It might not be a physical flame, but we burning up out here, man. Burnt up in our lust, burnt up in our uh, desires, man. Burnt up in the flesh, man. Come on, that's why our people got the highest rate of uh, STDs, man. Highest rate of um, diabetes, man. Highest rate of all these other uh, different diseases, man. As a nation, it is the black people who got this, these problems, man. So we burnt up by the Most High God. Go ahead, I. In the latter days, right. ye shall consider it. Right, and in these latter days, man, we wonder why we got to go through so much hell, man. Why we go through so much hell, man? We got to think, why do our people go through the most hell, most hell in this earth, man? We're, we're, hell is not under the ground burning up as an eternal flame, man. Because hell is going to be dissolved into that lake of fire, man. Right. So our condition that we're in right now is going to be consumed in that lake of fire, man. Go ahead. Huh? Uh, 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 yeah. 30, chapter 31. At the same time, saith the Lord. Right. I will be the God of all the families of Israel. Good, so the Most High God said, at the same time, while we get burnt up, man, and then we consider the ways of the Most High God, man, then he's going to be our God. He's going to be the God of the families of Israel. Y'all black families. Y'all Hispanic families. Y'all Native American families. That's the families of Israel right there, man. The Most High God had chosen us, not any other nation. He chose us to be loved. He chose us to be special. He chose to beat our asses over everybody else, man. Go ahead, I. And they shall be my people. See, and the time is at hand where we come back to the Most High God and become his people, man. But our people so damn retarded, man, that we would rather serve uh, idols, man. That we would rather serve false gods, man. But our people, they don't give a damn. You got all these people over here sitting at the bus station. They can hear me. I know they can hear me, but they don't want to see what we're talking about. It's a damn shame, and our people destroy for that, man. That's why we got to go to different drugs to try and cope with our problems instead of facing our problems head on or try and get a uh, a, a damn bottle to uh, drown our sorrows, man. Hey, he back. I called him. What's up, brother? Oh, you sound, you sound a lot different today, brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. All oh, praises, man. You you all, you all sound drunk like last time, man. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Give me that Hebrews 12, man. Give me that Hebrews 12 and 6. Cause that's that's what's happening, brother. That 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 I was telling you to get off of that that liquor was a was a message from God, right? And that and that's that's why you got hit like that. And the Most High just wanted you to feel a little bit of it. He didn't want you to get the whole thing and get taken off. But he gonna he gonna let you feel it a little bit. You feel what I'm saying? Go ahead, I. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse six. Bring it out. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. So the Lord whooping your butt right now. He he whooping your tail right now because you know you got to put down that liquor, man. You know you can't be keep on drinking, man. You know in your spirit that you don't want to keep on drinking, man. You 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 look way better today than you did last time, brother. Honestly, it's yo, 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 brother, you, you got a special glow about you today, man. You, ain't, I, you can tell that your face is clear. You ain't been drinking today, right? See, I can tell, I can sense it, I can sense it in your spirit. You have a little bit more peace right now, cause, cause you don't need to that, need to be drinking. You need to, you need to, you, you got, you got the spirit on you to be reading. Cause last time you was out here, you was bringing out some scriptures, brother. You was bringing it out. Don't, don't do that. He got his phone leaned on that. So, brother, this is, this is a beautiful thing, man. Seeing you right in, in the right state of mind. You feel what I'm saying? So like the Bible verse just said, who the Lord loveth, he chastises. So he, he be he, he be he be beating our ass sometimes to make sure we get right. How you doing, sister? What's your nationality? Judanese? Sudanese. Sudanese? Okay, yeah, you from you from uh, Sudan. That means you are an uh, ancient uh, Egyptian. So that means that you gotta be our slaves in the kingdom. You know that? Yeah, God, God, you gonna be the servants to the Israelites according to the Bible. 
Because your people was the ancient Egyptians. Y'all had the Egyptians in slavery back in time. Yeah, we are the biblical Israelites that the Bible speak of. You too, sister. You're an Israelite that the Bible speak of. So you got to pay back for what our Pharaoh did to our people. Hey, she had hold to on, go. hold on. I'm going to get this real quick. Salaki, she had to got? go. <laughs> come on, come on. Get that, get that. She ran away. And scourges every son. Hold on. He, it say he scourges. So that means actually beat, beat on us. The Most High God, he he basically going 12 rounds with us, man. He, he'll beat us with the left and the right, man. The Most High God don't even need to throw a right-hand punch. He, he keep on throwing left jabs at us. Because he, he he just want us to feel a little bit of pain so that we could come back to him. You feel what I'm saying? You got the spirit to actually read. You feel what I'm saying? And actually get deeper in this these scriptures. You 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 got that beautiful spirit on you, brother. But you once you put down that liquor for good, you could drink here and there, have a couple of drinks, but don't indulge in it, brother. Like we was telling you last time, don't indulge in it. You feel what I'm saying? Because when you get in, in the right state of mind and start keeping God's commandments, the Most High God is gonna look out for you. Yeah, yeah. I hey, my bad, brother. I get beat too. I'm going through hell right now, physically, mentally, spiritually, all over. I'm going through hell, but I got to keep on fighting in these last days. Because once I give in, then that means that the devil has taken power over me. And I can't let him take power over me. I can't let him. I got to overcome evil with good, you feel what I'm saying? With what the Most High God have called for me, you feel what I'm saying? Because once I give in, then it's over. I gave in, and I, and I and then it's worthless. All this work I'm out here doing is worthless if I give in to them evil spirits. I got to fight a battle every day. You got to fight a battle every day. He got to fight a battle. He got to fight a He got to fight a battle. All of us got battles, but we got to learn how to overcome our battles. Give me that, uh, what is that? Huh, what you got, I know you got some. Bring it out, get that. Time, cause we we going through some hell right now, man. We gotta prepare ourselves for what's going on, man. I was just talking about how we are special people, and then you turn come around the corner, and then I, you call him, right? Call him. He called you, and you came out here. We we, hey man, the Lord the Lord be putting us over here for any reason, whatever the reason is, and then we always get somebody out. And today the Lord wants you to hear this word. He don't want you to just be going back and forth with us. He wants you to hear it today. Fine, you got you got it. I right. get it. I right. get it. It's uh, Ephesians six. Uh, um, we gotta get it right. We gotta get ourselves right in these last days. Prepare ourselves mentally, physically, spiritually, man. Go ahead. You said the armor of God, right? Right. Verse ten. Oh, you said. Oh, yeah. You could go to eleven. Go ahead. Okay. No, start at ten, Kyle. Okay. Yeah. Ephesians chapter six, verse ten. Bring it out. Finally, my brethren, be strong. In the Lord. So we got to be strong in the Most High God. Go ahead. And in the power of his might. And in the power of his might. Because the Most High God, he, he, he even did some things to us, man. He, you got shot in the land, brother. The Most High God, he, he just he let you taste how it feel to be uh, to, to be in pain. To, he let you taste how it feel to be hurt. But he, he could do far worse if you don't get right. He'd be like, yo, that's why we out here, to warn you. Because, hey, if you keep on going into that wickedness, you're going to get caught up in that wickedness, and you might end up dying next time. You feel what I'm saying? Is, is, is uh, the world worth your soul? No. You got to get your soul right with God. Go ahead, I. And in the power of his might, right? put on the whole armor of Yahweh. So you got to put on the whole armor of the Most High God, Yahweh. You feel what I'm saying? You got to brace yourself for what's coming. You got to prepare yourself for this temptation that we're going through. Yeah, sometimes I want to do some things that's not right. Sometimes I want to walk a, uh, contrary to the word. But then I got to remember, I'm not that type of person. I'm a spiritual man. I'm not carnal. So I got to walk according to the laws of God. Go ahead. That ye may be able to stand against. Hold on, that ye may be able to what? Stand against the wells of the devil. So we got to be able to stand up against the evil, wicked ways of the so-called uh, devil, man. The devil that's walking this earth. Or the devil that's in our fall. Or the devil that's in that battle. Many different vices is devils for our, ourselves. You feel what I'm saying? Because they go against what we need in our spirit. They go against what we need mentally. You feel what I'm saying? Or they go against different things that we got to do in our life. You feel what I'm saying? I got many devils in my life too that I gotta fight on a daily basis, you feel what I'm saying? Go ahead, I. 
For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So it ain't got to be a man that's your devil. Sometimes you can have that drink that's your devil. Sometimes you can have that the different images online that make you lust after some other woman that you don't need. You feel what I'm saying? Whatever it is, something might be your devil. You feel me? But it's not always flesh and blood. You feel what I'm saying? Sometimes you got you got different things that's putting you off from following the most high God. Go ahead. Uh, but against principalities. So we're going against principalities, man. That's that's our rulership. You feel what I'm saying? That's different powers in high places controlling the narrative for the music to be filled with wickedness. For the uh for the entertainment business to be filled with wickedness. For the movies, for everything to be filled with wickedness. Hold that. Right, go ahead. This is the book of Cyrat, right? Chapter 33, verse 14. Bring it out. Good is set against evil. It say that good is going against evil. Go ahead. And life against death. And life is going against death. So the, the wicked ways of the world, they is going against life, which is keeping God's commandments. Go ahead. So is the godly against the sinner. So the godly man is against the sinner. We can't stand out here and let my brother be in sin. Because if I was out here with my brother in sin, and I'm saying that I'm trying to stay away from sin, why would I associate myself with this brother? We got to prepare ourselves for, for the things in life. So we got to also have our brothers ready as well. When I see this brother going off, I'm going to check him. When he see me going off, he damn sure going to check me. So when we saw you going off last time, we was checking you, brother. We was. Right, it wasn't it wasn't nothing against you, but we had to do it. You feel what I'm saying? Right, that's love right there. Go ahead, huh? And the sinner against the godly. Hold on, and the sinner the sinners go against the godly. So if you if you love being in sin, like these homosexuals and these LBGTQ, all these other people, transformer community, man. If you in that community, you're not going to want us telling you to get out of that wickedness, to stop being a homosexual, to get a wife if you're a uh, man, and get a, a husband if you're a, a, a wife, a woman. You feel what I'm saying? You're not going to like that. You're like, I want what I want. And then you're going to fight with the with the prophets or the uh, servants of the Most High God because they tell you what's right. Go ahead. So look upon all the works of the Most High. So look upon the works of the Most High God. Because he made all this stuff for us. And I don't want to destroy, or I don't want to see my brother be destroyed for uh, going into sin, going into wickedness, going into evil ways. Go ahead. And there are two and two, one against another. So they fight against each other. Good and evil, life and death, good, godly men and sinners. So we got to be them godly men because out here we don't see too much godly men. We don't see too much godly men out here in these last days. You feel what I'm saying? We got to get right with the most high God. Go ahead. Come on, give me that. Uh, go ahead. Uh, first, I read, I mean, so I read chapter 1, verse 25. The parables of knowledge are in the treasure of wisdom. But, but godliness is an abomination to a sinner. Start that verse up, right? So read chapter 1, verse 25. The parables of knowledge are in the treasures of wisdom. So knowledge is in wisdom, man. You go, They go hand in hand. The parables of knowledge is in the treasures of wisdom. So to get wisdom, you got to seek it. You got to find it. You can't just be out here doing your own thing and thinking you're going to find wisdom. No, you got to seek knowledge. You feel what I'm saying? Go ahead. I but godliness is an abomination to a sinner. And godliness is an abomination to a sinner. So if you out here doing your own thing, sinning, and living your your best life, you're going to be against uh, godliness. You ain't going to want to follow after godliness. You're going to be... It's, being godly is going to be an abomination. So like uh, when we tell homosexuals or the LGBTQ community that they can't be they, that way anymore. And then they say, hey man, I'll live my best life. I'm doing me. I don't care what the Bible says. There is a that, that's an abomination to them because they don't like to be the, uh, rebuked. They don't like that uh, good words, man. Go ahead, bring out what you got. Out. The Book of Galatians, chapter five, verse sixteen. This I say then: walk in the spirit. Walk in the what? Walk in the spirit. So we gotta walk in the spirit. We can't walk after our flesh no more. Go ahead. And ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. See, when we walk spiritually, we don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Because sometimes, man, 
I be I be thinking like, dang man, I just need to do this wicked thing, man. But then if I'm walking in the spirit, I'm not gonna do them uh, lust of the flesh no more. I'm gonna walk according to the Most High God that He ordained for me. You feel what I'm saying? Cause sometimes I'll be sitting at home playing a game and just playing a game all damn day, and then I'll be like, damn, I gotta read. And then sometimes I just continue to play the game. Nah, I gotta, I, when I think I need to read, I turn off the game or turn on like some music in the background and I start reading. I gotta put off them lust of the flesh cause all I wanna do is just waste my brain. Nah, I gotta do some work for the most high God. You feel what I'm saying? Give me Revelation 1 and 3, you hold what you got, go ahead. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. So they go against each other. You still holding that, uh, yeah, okay, Colin Carr. So they fight against each other. We can't we can't always go pick up that bottle or pick up that uh, lust or pick up whatever it is. Sometimes we gotta just go again, go according to the spirit. Cause when we got that bottle in our face and they be like, just have a drink, just one drink. Just one drink, that's all you need. And then you take one shot. And then you be like, man, that was good. Now I'm taking another shot. Oh man, I'm feeling it. Now I'm taking another shot. Now I'm, I ain't, that, it, ain't, it ain't taking three shots to get drunk. But then you keep on taking shots, getting a beer, getting drinking and drinking, and now you're drunk. You feel me? All it takes is that one shot, and then you just keep on going. You feel what I'm saying? Go ahead. Give me what you got out of Revelation 1 and 3, right? Because you be, you be getting into this word, brother. I can tell that you be digging in the word. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Bring it up. Blesses he that read it. So you read it. I could tell that you read it because you was quoting scriptures to me, brother. And the scriptures say, blessed is the man that read it. Go ahead. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. And last time, you was out here listening to the word, brother. You, 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 was, you was talking a little bit more than, uh, more than you should have. But today, you're quiet. You're not even saying nothing, brother. Cause you could, right, right. Because you can tell that that wine is not in you right now. It ain't something that we need. We, 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 we can use it, but we don't need it. We don't need to rely on it. Go ahead. And keep those things which are written therein. Because we, we try to uh, have you see blessings, brother. So you got to keep the things that's written therein. I don't know if you remember that I told you last time, but it's 613 commandments of the Most High God. And what we got to do in these last days is get deep into finding out what those 613 commandments are. Because you see these brothers up here, we all got fringes on our show. You got fringes on, Matt Thayer? I'm just making sure. I just didn't see him. I ain't want to, you know? No, no, we always got them on. I know you always got them on. I just did See, but us brothers, we all got on fringes up here. You feel what I'm saying? That's the commandment of the Most High God. You feel me? Yeah. And none of us is hypocrites. I ain't going to say it. If he, I, well, I was going to say it. And I'm like, where your fringes at, at? Because I'm going to check my brother. You feel me? So we got to start keeping God's commandments. Like, you, you got a you gotta beard on your face. That's a commandment from the Most High God. You feel what I'm saying? We up here to show our brothers right from wrong. We up here to show our brothers when they're going off. We up here to show our brothers the straight and narrow path. You feel what I'm saying? Because once we go to the left or go to the right, we're going to go see fire or hell. What's that uh, second address? Seven. It's seven. Seven and eight. Second address. Huh. Or it might be six and seven. Fire and... Uh, Fire and water, left and right. It should be, it should be chapter seven. Seven. It should be seven. Seven verse six, huh? And, uh, what is it? Uh, only one man can go? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's seven. Seven and seven. Seven and seven. Come on, bring it on, all right. It's a lot here. It's the book of second Ezra, chapter seven. I'm starting at verse six. There is, there is also another thing. A city is built and set upon it's set upon broad field right. mm -hmm. and is full of all good things. The entrance thereof is narrow. Hold on. So the Bible just said that it's a city and it's broad and it's full of good things. What's that city? What you think that is? Nah, the, the good things that that city is, that's talking about the kingdom of heaven. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, because cause this world is full of evil and wickedness. This can't be that good city that's broad. You feel me? This, that city that's talking about is the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead. That's right. And it's set in a dangerous place to fall. So it, it's, uh, 
Salaki, that car got to go by. So the city that's uh, set, uh, stop that verse 7 over at Salaki. The entrance thereof is narrow. So I say the entrance for the city is narrow. It ain't a wide, wide entrance.